Oh my god. I'm fucking screaming. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am decluttering my entire makeup collection. So I try to declutter my makeup every single year just because it gets a little excessive. And this time around I was like, it is time because I feel like there was a lot of makeup that was just getting old. This is makeup that I still think my family and friends could still use. But you guys do know that I like to do a lot of giveaways as well. I do a lot of giveaways on my Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on there. So today I'm gonna show y'all um, me decluttering my makeup collection. If you guys are excited for this video, please give it a huge thumbs up because that does help. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here is an overview of my background. This is what you guys regularly see in my beauty videos. So in my background, I have my two dressers from Ikea. These are literally just clothing dressers, but I used it for my makeup. So the first dresser right here in the first drawer, you can see I have just a bunch of skincare and batteries, just a bunch of crap, like everything was mixed in. I see like uh, mascara in there, lotion. It's just a hot mess. So I'm just going in there and kind of just separating everything. My goal for this drawer is for it to become a skincare drawer. It was a skincare drawer before, but it slowly just started accumulating a lot of just random things in it. I will say I did order a skincare fridge that recently came in the mail and I stocked it up with my skincare products. This drawer is actually now a lot more empty than what you guys are going to see but it is just used now for the little extra skincare products that did not fit in my fridge but basically as you guys see i am here just cleaning up the drawer with some lysol wipes i want to make sure it is nice and clean because you know with time it does get dusty and crusty there's like hairs there's just random random little trash in there and what I'm gonna do is just go through all of my products that I'm going to give away because a ton of this I am not going to be using I have a ton of skincare products I don't think it's realistic for one person to use so I'm just going through everything and really getting an idea of what I really want and what I'm gonna be giving away So as you guys can see, I'm kind of separating my products in this little container. I am putting my serums and in the big one, I am actually putting my moisturizers. In that big box that you guys see where I'm putting that, these boxes are actually from Ikea as well. I thought it was really great for organizing the makeup. Again, I think this is for clothing just because that's kind of what they made it seem like. But, you know, I, I decided to use it for this. And as for the small containers, I believe I got these at the dollar store years ago like I said in one I'm putting my serums and in the other one I believe I'm putting face masks so I just want to make sure everything is nice and separated not like how it was before I think that's why it became more of a random drawer with random things because nothing really had its home like you didn't really know what the hell was in there and I had no interest in looking in that drawer at all Okay, so this is what is left. Wow, what a difference. So this little first container is serums. The second one is face masks. And the other one is moisturizers with sheet masks. And that is basically it. Wow, look how clean and organized this freaking looks. Next up is my foundation slash concealer slash powder slash setting spray drawer. I am first starting off tackling down the concealers. I have way too many. You're gonna notice in general with foundation and concealer, I have different colors. Companies do send me a lot of different shades and a lot of times I do feel bad and I wait for my friends to go through my makeup to see if it's their shade or a lot of times I will use those shades for contour. So you are gonna see a variety of different shades. A lot of these have gone bad so a lot of these I will be throwing away to the actual trash because I do not wanna give expired makeup to my friends. But everything that you see me putting in this bag is makeup that I'm absolutely giving away. Keep in mind you guys, I have boxes and bags of brand new makeup that I will be loading back into my collection. So even though it may seem like I'm getting rid of a lot, I'm gonna be bringing in a lot of the new.
Okay, so the container that's in front of my concealers, I have setting powders apparently. This is my setting spray container. You're gonna notice there is like moisturizers. You know, things do get mixed up here and there, especially when I'm rushing getting ready. So that's kind of a normal in my collection. But mainly there are setting sprays here and girl, I don't need this many setting sprays. Like what kind of human needs like 20 different kinds? That's not realistic. I think that's my goal in general, getting rid of my entire makeup collection. It's like I could live with a makeup bag. Why do I have so much? The container to the right has my primers. I am going to be getting rid of a lot of these. I do not even use half of these. There is like a couple of moisturizers in there as well that did get a little mixed up. So some of those things I will be putting back in my skincare drawer. And I actually am making sure to clean my products just because I don't want to give away dirty makeup. You know what I'm saying? You know, with all the touching and grabbing, fingers being dirty with foundation, sometimes they can get a little dirty. You are gonna notice that all of my products I do take out because I need to clean my containers but I am basically separating what I will be keeping and what I will be giving away. In this smaller container, I have setting powders. It's a little random though. I, I feel like a lot of these I never really use, so this one might just be very, very empty. Okay, so now for my foundations, y'all. I am gonna get rid of literally like 99% of this. I do not need it. I am actually throwing a lot of it away as well just because some of these are really, really old and I'm so embarrassed as to why I collect my foundations. What is the reason? Like, seriously, a lot of these are just pointless to me. I, I, I could live with one bottle. Till I'm done with it, I could restock, but this is just beyond. Okay, so I quickly want to show you guys this makeup product. This is a Graftobian foundation. I do keep a few of my old makeup from my old freelance makeup kit. It was my first foundation that I purchased, uh, but I do really cherish it. So I will never be throwing that away. I actually do think I show you a few other products, but basically as you guys can see, this container is still a little dirty because the foundation did stain it, but you know, I tried. This really tiny container, it was supposed to just be my concealer pots, but as you guys can see, there is more random things in there. And like I said, I have different shades of powders, foundations, because it is sent to me. And usually I like for my friends to go through my makeup and see, you know, what they could find that's their shade. But as you guys can tell, you know, a lot of these products just end up staying there and I do not end up using it. So I'm definitely getting rid of a lot of those. Well, you look at that, dang, I got rid of a lot. This is actually amazing to look at right now. I feel like all this weight is lifted off my shoulders. And can we take a look at this bag full of concealers and foundation? Like, what is the reason? Okay, here is my palette drawer. This one does stress me out a little bit, y'all. I love doing my shadow, but this is just way too much. And this is actually something that I do declutter quite often just because I get so many palettes sent to me, so I do like to try them out. And one of the main reasons why I am decluttering just a bunch of these is because 
Who really needs that many neutral palettes? You know what I mean? So you guys are gonna see me get rid of some amazing palettes that might be your favorite, but you know, it's just too much. I have containers of brand new makeup that are waiting for me to try. And like I said earlier, I do love to give a lot of those away to you guys. But I think it's also important if these brands are sending me all this makeup, it'd be kind of great if I actually used some of it. And don't get me wrong, I am super, super grateful for all the makeup that is sent. I just feel like once I've had it for a while, it is time to swap it out. I do like to organize my palettes by size. Um, oh my God, I'm barely noticing how dirty these boxes are. You guys know palettes be breaking and stuff, so the shadow is kind of difficult to clean. But yes, I do like to separate my palettes just because it gets a little confusing with the sizes and these little ones usually get lost pretty quickly. So I do like to give it their own home. <laughs> So that is my palette drawer. I did keep a lot of palettes, but compared to what I had, girl, look at that bag. It is full. So this last drawer is just my random drawer. This is actual random things that I'm never gonna touch again. So I think I'm getting rid of literally all of this and I'm just gonna be keeping the makeup bags. Yeah, this is definitely a drawer that I never open. Like I literally shove things that I probably know I'm not gonna use in there. It is just terrible. So these balls that y'all see, I believe these came in a PR box and I actually never got rid of them because I felt bad, but it was time, girl. This drawer, I want to be dedicated with pure makeup bags. I actually love to collect makeup bags because I love traveling with them. I also love when my friends just go through it and take a few. I definitely have more makeup bags than this in my other containers where I have new makeup and things like that. But hey, if you're my friend, come over. Well, after this quarantine, now give me some. Don't mind the mess, you guys. It was definitely a cleaning day, but this is the second dresser to the right, and this is the first drawer. I have my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters here. I used to have it separate to my singles and the palettes, but as you can see, everything is just mixed in. I'm gonna first start off with this little container, which was supposed to be just blush palettes, but as you guys can see, there is also singles mixed in there. And then I believe the big container in the back was supposed to be for highlighters, and and it is just a mix of palettes as well as some bronzers. But the front container will be palettes, the back will be highlighters. The small container in the center, I'm gonna focus on just putting bronzer palettes and then the container in the back is gonna be pure single bronzers.
Okay, so I am now sectioning off the palettes from the singles. As you can tell right there in the front, I already have the palettes organized. And then the big container in the back, I am putting all my single highlighters. Like I said, on the right side, I'm gonna be doing single bronzers. And then my container all the way to the right is my blush container that again is mixed with everything but we're gonna focus just with blushes and like i said i'm just dividing the blushes that i want to keep and the blushes that i'm going to be giving away And then I don't know if I showed you well enough, but the container all the way to the right in the front, that is my loose highlighters. Okay, so here is everything organized. I definitely got rid of a lot of palettes and bronzers. Why is there a blush in my bronzer section? I just noticed that right now. What the hell? Wait, there's like a couple blushes. You guys, I didn't even notice this. Girl, now onto my lipstick drawer. This right here is kind of a mess. I will say I kind of have it organized, kind of not. Like I said, things will always get mixed up. The container that I'm currently going through are my nude lip liners. It's kind of like a mix of nude, dark browns. You get the vibes, but I'm just gonna go through those and get rid of a lot. I feel like I don't use any of these. Honestly, like dead ass, I could probably live with three lip liners and I'll be fine. <laughs> This container on the right, I keep a lot of my brights, colored, and reds. The container in the center, I keep a lot of dark plums, dark browns. This is a drawer that definitely gets mixed up a lot. Like I see a lot of nudes in there right now and I'm like, why? I, I think when I'm like in a rush, I kind of just throw lipsticks back in there and I don't put them back in their spot. But this was supposed to be just pure darks. So in the center, instead of having a mix of darks, I decided to have pure dark plums because the dark browns and all that I could just easily have in my everyday nude lipstick container. Right here, this container has all my burgundies and reds. Okay, so I'm going back and cleaning up the lipsticks that I'm gonna be keeping. So this section right here is reds. Now I did notice on the section where I did the plums, a lot of them were kind of a deep red. So I started putting those in the red container. So as you can see, my plum little tray is a little empty right now. But mainly I'm just gonna focus and keep the dark lipsticks in there and all the red plums are gonna just stick with my red lipsticks. So I'm kind of just decluttering that container you see right there all the way to the right, that is just my brights. I feel like that container is definitely the one I use the least because it's like very bright pinks, oranges and things like that. And you're gonna notice I'm putting a lot of the oranges as well with the reds just because I feel like it goes better with those tones. But this container is going to be very empty, you guys will see. I'm putting only back the bright lipsticks I'm gonna want and that is literally it. Isn't that crazy? So I definitely got rid of a lot of brights. This container to the left has basically my everyday nudes. This one is pretty filled and I am gonna get rid of a lot as well because I do not use, not even half. In this container, my goal is just to keep pure nudes, even dark browns, just more everyday wearable lipsticks. As I'm putting back the lipsticks that I'm gonna keep, I do notice I did keep a lot of my nudes, but keep in mind it is a mix of nudes and dark browns. But this is like my go-to little container because it is more wearable lipsticks, you know what I'm saying? Like we can never have enough nudes, period. Ooh, okay girl, we are just about done. Can we take a look at this before and the after? Amazing, amazing. Okay, so my third drawer, this one is a little hectic. I have brow products, lashes, liner, mascara. 
it is insane i even have like random empty lash boxes so a lot of things are tossed in here i guess you could say it's kind of a random drawer as well so i'm going to make sure this one is very organized I'm going to keep just very little brow products because a lot of these are not even my shade. And I think in this little container, I have a mix of glitters, liners, and brow products. So it is just a disaster. I wanna make sure that I just separate everything. Even if it's two products, girl, I wanna make sure it has a home. And right here, I am just putting all my lashes together. I actually have a lot of my lashes separate from this drawer, which was kind of weird. So I decided to put all my lashes here and just organize them and girl it felt great seeing them all together I just wanted to show you these are all the lashes I will be giving away so this is going to be separate from all of the makeup I'm decluttering because these are brand new I do like to actually separate my used and new makeup so everything you guys just see in the beginning of the video was just used makeup and my new makeup I like to do separate obviously but I am going through all my liners right now and so I'm just gonna stick to realistically maybe nudes and a few blacks and I realized I had more lashes so going through those again and here are the lashes mascara and liners as you can see I had like an empty section so I'm gonna tackle these Alex drawers I have on the right side of my dressers so these items I will be moving to that last drawer you guys saw I have my loose glitters and single shadows so these Alex drawers I mainly keep hair products so I feel like because I have these two random makeup drawers separate from my makeup collection I really do avoid this area a lot I'm going to basically move all of this into that last drawer obviously getting rid of a bunch of products I am NOT going to be using y'all I love me some color pop shadows but I feel like I do not use them that often so I I am keeping just the really bright pretty colors and the rest I am giving away as well as just other stuff that were in there um, but I'm just basically now in this container putting my glitters and the shadows I am keeping and voila we got our lash mascara brow liners pigments and single shadows drawer it went from like being my least favorite drawer to now like my favorite this is all the makeup that we are decluttering. This is just so huge. I don't know if you guys could tell. This is like a big ass tote bag. Um, it's kind of like a beach bag. This is a bunch of shadows, mascaras, and just pigments, and just a lot. I don't even know what's in here. And then this bag right here kind of looks like there's palettes. There is some lipsticks, liners. It's hard to tell because I'm filming this days after. But we have this other bag and it's just like a bunch of bronzers, blushes. And then this one right here is just a bunch of like my foundations and concealers. Oh my god. So this is all of the freaking makeup that we were able to collect. If you guys are not updated with my Instagram, you guys can follow me on there. I always do like a bunch of giveaways. Oh my god, I Oh my god, screaming. Um, make sure you guys head over to my Instagram. I'm always doing amazing bomb giveaways on there. And yay, we got rid of a lot. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, give the video a huge thumbs up if y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.